Mm-hmm. We're live? live. Oh, we're live. Hi, I'm Johnny News Guy and from Fake News. And I'm his co-anchor, Johnny McNews Guy's co-anchor. First up, we have Donald Trump in a peach. Billions and 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 What a great intro to this that was. Johnny, why don't we stick to the script? Now to our next story, Rose Hill PD officers found outside the high school for unknown reasons. They are now recovering in the hospital. Thank you, Johnny Meek News Guy's co-anchor. I'm here outside Rose Hill High School with a story about two Rose Hill PD officers being found inside a colt with the Beatles, golf, and baseball cards. We don't have any further information, but I will get back to you on that. Jeff? Out. Thanks, Geoff. His name's Jeff. His name's Jeff. Yeah, it's Jeff. Oh, my name is Jeff. No, his name is Jeff. And next, cashews, the new almonds. And later, Obama making bacon out of Kevin Bacon. Ooh, woo. I am sticking to the strip. See you right. Oh. See? You're fired. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hi, I'm Johnny McNews Guy on the Johnny McNews Guy Talk Show. And here today we're talking to the chair, a new and upcoming member of our society who has decided to transition into a chair. Chair, will you please come up here? Nice to meet you, chair. So, You've been bullied a lot in your childhood, I've heard, and that made you decide to become a chair? Yeah, like people would throw bananas, and I would, I would fall on them, or I would get a, a bag of chips, and it would just be mostly air, or like people would wave at me, but not be waving at me, be waving at people behind me, it would be awkward. And like, make me sad. That is absolutely horrendous. But it makes you seem like kind of like a wimp. Why, why would you say that? It's just air in a bag of chips. Everyone has that. But man, that, that takes a lot, man. No, it doesn't. Yeah, yeah, it does. Whatever, man. So, what has life been like as being a chair? It's been pretty cool. Stairs are really hard. <laughs> Stairs are really hard to get down. Why don't you just use the escalator? Ah, uh, never thought about that. Man, you really are a piece of human filth. So, there's been some news reports and live streams on the internet of you dancing as a chair in the bathroom. That video of dan you dancing was really, really lame. Why would you even do that? Yeah, I, I, you should be ashamed of yourself. This is what happens when you make fun of people. <laughs> ah. Be here. 
Oh. Whoa. My, they do move in herds. What a sight to see. Wait a minute. No one's looking at me funny. Oh no. They're coming. What should I do? Clever girl. A chair? Do you want to work out more and be able to connect with people in classes? Then you should go to the Rose Hill Recreation Center, where they offer varying workout programs such as Zumba, yoga, and cardio. Or are you looking for a place to enroll your kids in a sport? The Recreation Center also offers sports for your children. This will get young kids out of the house and learn more about other people and make friends along the way. The Recreation Center is located at 400 South Rose Hill Road. The phone number is 316-776-9880. Make sure to check out the Recreation Center to learn more about their great programs. Hi, William Labyrinth here to show you the power of Hydrogen Swift. Are you tired of getting cherry cola and Dorito dust all over this police officer's uniform I found in the dumpster behind Casey's? Well say no more because Hydrogen Swift gets the tough stains away from your general vicinity. Wow! Tired of dirty tools? Hydrogen Swift has the solution. Now that smells fresh. Lemon! Hydrogen Swift can even clean this nasty pillow. It's gonna take a little bit of Hydrogen Swift to clean this thing up. Ha! Good as new! Somebody ever pee a little bit in your favorite cup and you're just like, man, that's nasty. I need to drink my morning joe out of this cup. Just pour some Hydrogen Swift in there, give it a little spritz, and then, bam, the mug will be nice and clean. You won't even notice there's still a little bit at the bottom. Hydrogen Swift. It's not half bad. Give me some paper towels. <laughs> Hi, I'm Dakota Morgan, host of Man vs. Horse, the only reality TV show that pits three unwitting contestants against a bloodthirsty mare. Will they survive today's challenges? All of these include the obstacle course, the tug of war, and of course everybody's favorite, horse wrestling. But first, let's meet our contestants. We have an excellent lineup today. You hear that? Ah! I'm Matthew Bjornsson. And I came up from a modernized Sweden Viking tribe, and 
I think I can win man versus horse because I have the will and I trained for years. It was all my life. As my modern job, I work for a Starbucks as a barista. It's a very good job, has great sense. And I will win man versus horse because I have the will and I need that money, the trophy, and the title. That's what we're getting, right? No money. Title is horse boy. Horse boy. Horse boy. Uh, I'm Jack, uh, McAndrew. Yes, McAndrew. And, uh, I'm, my occupation is, uh, professional tag player because I'm really good at escaping the authority, I mean, not the authorities, uh, uh, other players. Uh, other uh, skills I do have is I know how to hotwire a car in less than 45 seconds. Uh, I'm really good at uh, getting inside of buildings and escaping Our first things, challenge like is I the rigorous obstacle before. course of doom where competitors will race by, against uh, none other than Winnie Pooh the horse uh, itself. Not getting touched by the horse for their time on the course because the horse. horses are mean. First up is local Hi, crack addict I'm Jeffrey, Jeffrey Basil, Basil and I sell essential oils on many Facebook groups. I'm very successful in what I do. Like I'm almost as successful wow, as Jeff run. Bezos of Amazon. Good, good form, good I'm form, and he successful. lands it. I think Only 10 seconds with the horse left in the dust. Horse. That's going to make Winnie Pooh thirsty for revenge. <laughs> in the essential oils Next is suspected jewel thief Jack McAndrews. Let's see how this run goes. Not a whole lot of skill being displayed in the run, and a solid 11 second run time. That was about what I expected. Now for the 250 pound wall of muscle, half Thor Bjorsor. I expect great things here. Let's watch. <laughs> Looks like he went right for the chair with the first, oh, beautiful. Time to spare here in this run. Eight seconds for half Thor Bjorsor. Our next challenge is the dreaded tug of war, where contestants will gain one point for every second they keep on the rope in hand. Let's see how they do. First up is second place obstacle course winner, Jeffrey Basil. He's holding on pretty good, but oh, so far, but oh, he's down, he's down. That is 10 seconds for Jeffrey Basil. What a match, what a match. But no one ever beats the horse. So how do you think you did against the horse? You know, I think I did better than Jeff Bezos ever would, you know, because um, I'm, I'm better than him. I think my essential oils now helped me out a lot, they got to me a lot of strength, he be the though first I man didn't to beat the horse, out. probably uh, not. You could actually purchase them on my Facebook account, XX underscore Epic Gamer, but the when I and Epic is a one, and A and Gamer is a four, and E is a three, Oh, oh, three oh Winnie Pooh is attacking. Uh, Jack dodges again. And again. So, still dodging. Real quick. You racked up quite a few points against that horse. How was facing off against Winnie Pooh the horse for the first time? <laughs> Wait, the Chinese president is here? Mm. Winnie the Pooh? Cut it, cut it, we can't use that. China's not gonna air it. All right. <laughs> oh, looks like he's finally getting tired. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, he's falling, st oh, stumbling, stumbling. Ooh, that is not good. Oh, ow, does not look good. Two hours later.
So, how do you think you did against the horse? Well, this is a popular game series. Uh, it's called Dark Souls. I got all my skills from that. From how you play the game, you basically fight bosses by dodge rolling away and making it to the next camp. Last to the plate is Hathor Bjorstor. But I don't think he's, he's a real big boy, nearby. so I think he's gonna do very well. So, um, as far as uh, you you racked up quite a few points, you did really well against the horse. So, uh, was your strategy just to dodge roll away? Well, I mean, at first I was trying to pull him towards me, but that horse was a bit powerful for me. Uh, I quite didn't have enough gear. And so I decided, hey, dodge roll. Good man. Yeah. Last but not least is everybody's favorite challenge, horse yeah. wrestling. Yeah. As always, Basil will go first, followed by McAndrew. Yeah. And finally, Hatch has Hasbro Gaming. Only Half Thor has wrestling experience, and horses can be pretty nasty, especially being known for inappropriate touching during and after matches. So we're expecting so, this to be <laughs> how was quite the war horse. Pretty painful, actually. Yeah, it looked like it sucked. It did. So what was it? Ah, oh, shoot! Oh God! Get back here! It's been a great fifth season here on Man vs. Horse. But, even though both of our contestants, all three even, did an excellent job, we have a clear winner. Hafthor Bjorsor, the highest scoring competitor in Man vs. Horse, is now our new horse boy. Everybody give it up for Hafthor Bjorsor! Horse boy! Nay! I am horse man! What? Ah! Oh. Get out of here! This is my hill! This is my territory! From children's books to encyclopedias, the Rose Hill Public Library collection has everything you need to expand your mind. The library, which has been a part of Rose Hill's history for more than a decade, hosts an abundance of special events such as their Monday story times. If you want to expand your mind and relax while doing it, check out the Rose Hill Library at 306 North Rose Hill Road between the hours of 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. Monday through Thursday or 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday. For more information, visit their website or call 316-776-3013.
Hi, I'm Mike Mandel, and this is that pillow. It's my pillow. I sleep on it every night. It's, it's really nice. Um, so, what, what I'm going to talk to you about today is how great this pillow is. It's, it's really cool, but don't sleep on it every night because you will get cancer. This pillow is water resistant. It'll dry eventually. It even works as a sink too. You know, you just need a soap dispenser and you're good. You're good to go. You clean, you're fresh, you know. You got it. You're good. You're done. <laughs> you're Gucci. This pillow, it's great for storing everything. You got you got your you got your saw, you know? You wanna you wanna build you wanna build a desk in the middle of the night? Good. Got it. Done. Alright. You know what else we got here? You know what else I got in this pillow? A phone. Call your mommy. Call her. She's dying. You gotta call her. You, you don't talk to her. You see her once every ten years. You gotta call her, okay? Call her. Call her. Call her. Alright. You know what else we got? Money I am storing for a friend. It's not mine. It's not stolen. It's not stolen. It, I'm, I'm storing it for a friend. For a friend. Alright. You know what else we got here? We got breakfast. We got breakfast. You don't want to get up in the morning. No. You got it in your pillow. You got it. You got breakfast. The pillow great. My pillow. This this pillow, not my pillow. My pillow is not this pillow. This pillow. For more is information pillow. or to purchase uh, a this pillow, call 1-800-420-6969. It's, it's only $19.99 really plus shipping you know. and handling. Like, like Morning. people are supposed to be not really mean, and they don't leave you at Dillard's in, in May in 2003, and then divorce you the next week. But um, <laughs> if you're if you're lonely, you know this pillow, this pillow is, is it's, it's great. Call buy this pillow, or somebody else will. may include acute and persistent headache, difficulty walking, instability, muscle weakness, problems with coordination, weakness of one side of the body, inability to speak or understand language, or mental confusion, blurred vision, difficulty speaking, personality change, seizures, and sleeplessness. My pillow is a great substitute for human contact. Contact my wife never gave me. Oh, it's okay. It's fine. Um, I can't remember what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know. I just wasn't saved me. by my pillow. Go. My pillow is a great substitute for human interaction or touching. Touching. Touching is nice. <laughs> this pillow, it's it's great for for human human contact. You know when you don't you don't get anything. I don't know. What you, <laughs> you peeled off his eye, dude. Oh my god. My pillow, my that pillow, is the secret cause for World War II. I bet you didn't know that, did you? Well. That's a pretty good pillow. Yep, it's that pillow. All right. Never good. Did it get? Tell me when I'm good. Whenever you're ready. Are we good? Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> Second volley. Go for the head. Oh. Oh. Here today we're talking to the chair, a new and upcoming member of our society who has decided to transition into a chair. Chair, will you please come up here?
Nice to meet you, Chair. <laughs>